Welcome back to CIS 235. This is our second demonstration this semester. Our first demonstration, if you recall, was our PayPal button demonstration. So I showed you guys how to create the donate button. And there were several other buttons that we can create as well, such as the Buy Now buttons and the Add to Cart buttons. So if you recall, I created five links, one for home, one for beer mugs, one for teaching and tutoring, one for software, and one for subscription. Now this screen on the right is the live web server page. So this is out there. This is for people to go and they can view this. You can actually click the buttons and they actually work. The screen on the left, I'm going to use today primarily, I'm going to use it primarily for working with the code and also working with, uh, working with the, bless you, working with the Amazon storefront. Let's go to the Amazon storefront, shall we? So I was talking about affiliate marketing uh, before. So I was talking about affiliate marketing before, and what I want to talk about tonight is how to create a page where you're essentially creating a store. It's kind of like a, it's not like a real store, but it is. You're selling other people's products. But I do want to talk a little bit about affiliate marketing tonight. So that's tonight's demo. So what I like to use for tonight's demo because it does work, and it has worked in several semesters prior to this one, because yes, when I send a link to people to go buy the book on Amazon instead of the bookstore, they click on the link, it's my affiliate, on my affiliate name, you'll see this in a minute, when I go into the back end of this. And then all of a sudden I get a commission after it's all done. Now I've got it set up where I don't actually get money. You can actually set it up to where you get paychecks. But I've got it set up to where I get Amazon gift cards. Now why would I want Amazon gift cards or credit? Because... Why? What can I get? What, what can I buy there? Yeah, there's always some need that we have in my household, it seems, that requires a purchase from Amazon. So I make sure that I throw those in there and basically is stored up credit. So if anybody in my house needs something, we go and get it. It's very nice to have. Yes, I've used all of it up. So. First thing you have to do is go to Amazon. Now, if you have not seen Amazon Associates, this is the Amazon site. When you scroll down all the way to the bottom, there's a link here that says, Become an Affiliate. So I click on Become an Affiliate, and what does it, what does it take you to? You can, you can do this at no charge. This, you, you can do this at absolutely no charge. It doesn't cost you a dime. It doesn't. None of this really costs you a dime. You go to the website, you go to Amazon Associates, and you're essentially selling other people's stuff. How awesome is that? You don't have to have these products in your house. You basically have a storefront that sells the items. It's perfectly legal because you're only getting a certain commission. You're not getting the bill. The person who's selling it is going to get their money. Is it you, associate or affiliate? Well, they, they don't call it the affiliate. They call it an associate. They have their, every, every one of these sites has their own program. So you're going to get a different name depending on who you go with. But Amazon, so Amazon calls theirs Amazon Associates. So again, it tells you, choose from over a million products to advertise to your customers. So I'm going to show you this tonight. Earn and get up to 10% advertising fees. So I'm going to talk about all this tonight. Hopefully a lot of your questions about this program will be answered and how this works. Because a lot of other affiliate programs work the same way. Amazon doesn't tend to be as obnoxious, though, because why? Does Amazon have a good reputation with the general public? 
I would think so, right? Because they sell everything. But the bonus to this also is that, as I said before, you don't have to store any of these physical products in your home or anywhere else. So could you run a site that sells products from Amazon on the side? Yeah. Yeah, essentially you could. If you could get it to where it pays the bills and everything, that would be fantastic. Am I going to guarantee you that that's going to happen? Absolutely not. However, tonight I am going to build demo number two that will accompany, that's right, that will accompany our first demo for the PayPal buttons. There's a reason why I copied the files over here on the left from demo one to demo two. So I actually am, and yes, here we are. Oh, I'll add Notepad++. Some of you remember Notepad++. Some of you don't. If you don't remember Notepad++, this is what it looks like. If you've never used it, well, I feel bad for you, but this is how, this is how we use it. So here we go. So what do I need to do first with Amazon Associates? I need to do what? If I already have one set up, now if you need to set one up, you can go join now for free. You can Google Amazon Associates and get this pick. It's not hard. If you, have a, if you have an Amazon account, this is really good. Please don't tell anybody my username. And that's just your regular Amazon account? That's, that's, all, that's all I'm doing. Yep. Okay. Now I'm not going to take you through all the steps to set it up because we only have 55 minutes. So. You do, have, you do have options as you go through and set up your account. You can set it up to where you get cash, or you can set it up to, or like a check. You can set it up to where you get direct deposit. You can set it up to where you get gift cards. I've got mine set up for gift cards. Or what, how I like to call it is, because I don't actually see the card, I like to call it credit. And they tell you what your earnings are. You can see how much money I've made. All right, that's month to date. I've made no money. <laughs> if I pick a different month, maybe if I choose, oh, ah, I did. Look. You made six dollars. So here's quarter three. Look, I sold eight items and I made six bucks in commission. There are eight ordered items. 13 people clicked on it, but only 8 ordered, so my conversion percentage was pretty high. Extremely high. But again, I targeted people and I said, here's where you're going to go to buy the textbook. There's nothing illegal about that. I saved the students money. And I make a small percentage on the side. I'll talk about how these earnings work in a few. I would first like to focus on and oh yes, they will tell you, speaking of how this works, it also allows you to view a full report of how much you earn. And you notice, what do you notice about these earnings here under, adver they call it advertising fee rates. And you notice that all these textbooks, and I even got money for somebody who bought American ethnicity, the dynamics and consequences of discrimination. So you know what that person did? They took my link, they bought the book, then they went and searched for other books with my affiliate ID still attached. Because they never ended the session, they kept looking for more books. So guess what happens? I get the credit for introducing philosophy, and American ethnicity. And guess what? I get, wow, and speak well, wow. Okay, I like this. So somebody goes in and buys the rest of their textbooks for all their classes. So who gets the credit with their affiliate ID attached? You do. Well, it's, I sent out a link for this textbook. That means whoever was in this class that bought this textbook, that's the only link I know I sent out. That means they continued to buy, continued to buy, continued to buy. They bought their whole semester's worth of books. And who got the credit? Mm -hmm. I did. How awesome is that? 
Now, in prior semesters, you would see numbers here for, this is what they actually paid for the books. Yes, for my stats class, people actually paid 80 and 90 cents for the book. I knew I wasn't getting much money off that. I got three cents and a nickel. Okay? That's eight cents I made just by sending out an email. I sent out an email, if I add up, I mean, all of this is contributed to, all attributed to the email I sent out. So I sent out one email, which took me how long? Five seconds. Yeah, seconds. I didn't even take me a minute. I sold 110 bucks worth of stuff and made six bucks, six and a half bucks off. Now to me, that's a pretty good hourly rate. For most people, it's a pretty good hourly rate. Now, I kind of do these things as tests also, just to see what people do. So somebody went in, they bought their book, and they just continued buying. Now, you notice what kind of percentages they give me on some of this stuff. In some cases, they give me under 4%. And in other cases, they get, it's like a variable percentage. Now, it used to be a 4% flat fee for your first eight items. And once you sell more than eight items, they give you 6% which is fantastic. But what do you notice about these percentages? Most of them are over what? Over three. Most of them are over, there's this one, which seems to be the outlier in this group. Most of them are over five and a half. Now folks, I've been, I've been selling with Amazon Associates for a few years now. So I don't know if they're giving me some kind of, normally it's 4% and 6% after eight items. This is by quarter. You have to do this within a three month period. And then your payout is not automatic. Your payout is every three months, three months, three months. Right. So you don't, that's the only drawback. You don't get it all the time. Could you set up a whole bunch of different accounts and build a whole bunch of different stores and get it to where you're getting paid? Well, you would think you could do that. But they really do have quarters, like fiscal quarters, like June, September, December, March, June. So it is every quarter. But the bottom line is, these affiliate programs are made to where, of course, these people sell their products through you, so they don't have to do any additional advertising. But you also should get something for selling somebody else's item. I don't know about you, but hell, if I can send out an email and make $6.62 in that short a period of time, I even have to monitor that. In fact, I didn't even look at this number until today, to be perfectly honest. So that's what I got last quarter. That's pretty damn good. I was expecting maybe a dollar. I was expecting maybe eight cents. But somebody ran, somebody went up, went ahead and continued buying textbooks. And when they do that, and that's the great thing about that, I had somebody buy a three hundred dollar textbook one year. It's a three hundred and something dollars. Well, I got a cut of that. I ended up getting like forty or fifty bucks that that quarter. And I sat there and I went, "Wow, this is crazy." Then, are you ready for this? Somebody was in the market for a laptop, and they wanted to buy one from Amazon, and they said, this is the item I want to buy. I said, wait a minute, don't buy it yet. And I sent them the link, 400 and something dollar item. So if you're going to buy it through Amazon, here, click on this link and buy it through this link. And I got the credit for that, and I got the credit for the three year protection plan. That's crazy. Yeah. So like if you have family members that want to buy stuff through Amazon, could you work it like that? Yeah, there's nothing against that. Because they're going to buy the item anyway. That's not going to cost them anymore. It's not going to cost them anymore. And you get a cut of it. Especially if they ask you if you're okay with them buying it. So if you know people, they're like, hey, I'm thinking about buying this, and you throw them back, no, I think you should buy this, and they're like, well, it's the same item. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, but I need you to use that, because that will give, give me a percentage. They're like, can we do it on our own items? No, you can't. I tried that. 
I did. I tried that. I tried loading up my shopping cart with all my links. I wanted to see if they kicked, they didn't kick me out. But they gave me no commission on any of those purchases. I was like, damn it, that would have been great. So you can't buy from your own account and have your own account as the affiliate ID. Makes sense, Ron. Yes, it does. If you notice, though, hold on, right? If you notice, so your affiliate ID is always in the upper left hand corner, so they will assign you one. This, I did not create this, they gave it to me. What if um, your wife has her own account? Ah, could you do it that way? Actually, you could. We didn't try that. I'm like, so damn it, you're going to have to buy all the stuff out of your account. I could, I could finagle it that way, but I try not to do stuff. I don't know why I just don't do stuff like that. She just goes and orders. All right, I don't, this is like camera. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, tonight's challenge is to create a store. Now, if you recall, I told you about this website already. I told you guys I went out and got this. I went out and got this. And this was the last semester demo. Now, we're going to make ours a little bit better than this, but last semester I was selling polo shirts. So I'm going to make something similar to this, but I'm going to put it into our existing template for our beer mugs. And what I'm really going to have to do is I'm going to have to open up beer mugs. Now I didn't click scan. I clicked edit no okay. All right, that's better. So what I'm going to do with the beer mugs.html file is I'm going to use it as a template like I did before. So I'm still going to have my all my links up here. But I'm going to actually change one of these links to say Amazon store instead of teaching and tutoring. Bear with me. Then we do save as. Now this isn't going to be this isn't going to be beer mugs. This is going to be what am I going to call? What's this demo too? Yes, save. All right, fine, good. Oh, wait, that's under demo two. I don't need that. So that's demo one. That's demo one. So any of those to be demo one, right? These other two, you know what? I'm just going to leave those in there as placeholders for right now. Oh, what can I replace this with? If I just want to leave that link in there as a placeholder. 233 volts. This is your test. What symbol am I putting into a hypertext reference? What symbol? The dollar sign NV. Ah, you're on the right track. What symbol am I going to put in? It's a singular symbol, 233 volts. This oh, is it's a test. singular symbol? Yes. A break? Uh, no. Uh, there it is. So what the pound symbol will do is it will keep you on the same page. That will keep you on the same page. All right, so here it is. Notice I click on these, what happens? Stay on the same page. Okay, so I'm going to use this as my template now, because now Amazon Store is going to be my demo two page. I'm going to do this. No, I don't want to reload it. No, good. There we go, that's better. Okay, is that better? There we go, alright. So my Amazon store, I'm going to get rid of our selection of beer logs in the code, so let me get rid of all of this. Say bye-bye, our selection of beer logs. It's, take, it's taking a hike. How do we do this? Let's do 
Let's call this one additional product. And I'm going to strike everything from, I'm going to strike this table. I'm going to strike this table. It's going to hit the road. It's going to hit the road. That's fine. And Nick, what did you just do? Well, I'll tell you what I just did. It's the wrong window. I'm going to go back and forth here for a moment. So I'm going to put my store where? I'm going to put it right in here. Come on, it's not that boring. <laughs> anyway, how do I create a store for beer mugs? Well, you notice I have links up here under Amazon Associates. I'm logged in. So it provides you with these links on the top. One of the links that I like the most is this one. A store. They call it a store. You can tell I've got a couple of a stores already set up. Now the second one is likely my one of my demonstration sites. I'm going to create another store because usually these will be blank. And you will have this button right here. It's plain and simple. Add an a store. So let's do that. Let me show you how this works. Let me click on add an a store. Good God. Create a tracking ID. Where's my tracking ID located? It's up here, isn't it? Tracking ID. It's right there, isn't it? No. It's below that where it says tracking ID. Right there. You're right, but what about oh, this? That is the same thing, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> Just making sure. So I click search. What? Mean it's not available. Hey, hang on. You have to go into my. You have to go into my ID first. Bear with me. Well, how's that? That's not normal, is it? I'm gonna go back. All right. Where's my A store? Darn it. Take me back to the A store page. Here we go. All right. So yes, I want to add another A store. But maybe it's because it says add a new tracking ID, and that's why it won't let like you use one that you've already used. Jeez. All right. Okay, fine, I'll use that one. You're absolutely correct, Jerry Lynn. So yes, you have to. With each store, you do have to add another tracking ID. And Margaret, you're right in that look. I think you can have multiple tracking IDs. So here's another store. So I picked the tracking ID that works for me. They're going to add that to my list, by the way, that I can manage. But notice what it takes you to after you select your tracking ID. What does it say? Pages. Create pages. So, notice it gives you step by step. It's a step by step wizard. Category pages, color and design, sidebar widgets, and get link. And when I usually when I usually shoot you all an email for the textbook, I usually use the links and banners tab up here. I don't use the actual store tab. If you want to build an entire store of products, this is where you would go. And you can embed that into your web page, which is what I'm going to do tonight with this demo. Still plenty of time, folks. Don't worry, this is not a this is not a long demo. So here we go. So for each page, you have three options to select products from Amazon's inventory. We can handpick products for each page. We can display products from the Amazon list mania list. And these are lists that people create. Now we can display products that belong to selected Amazon categories or subcategories. So if there is a category for beer glasses, or mugs, which I'm going to search for, then we can use that. And that sounds like what I want to use in this case. So we need to, here goes, we need to add a category page. 
So I'm going to add a category page. And now here when I click add a category page, what do you notice? Well, it says new category. So I want to sell, I want to sell a beer mug. Now what are the options it gives me? I can add individual products. I just told you, add individual, I can add products by the Amazon category. Or add products from the list, maybe a list. Now I'm going to choose category. Then the button changes. You notice it now says select an Amazon category. So I'm going to click on that. Great. So what are these? These are mugs. What are these? Categories. These are categories, but... They stores? DVDs. What would this fall under? Babies. Kitchen and, kitchen and housewares? Yeah, good, good call on that.